Honey, hurry up. You're going to miss Tosh. What? Tosh is on, honey. Special guest tonight is Dobie Gray. Ah, uh, we watch Tosh all the time. What else is on? Well, I don't know. Three's a crowd. Prisky discovers her boss. I hate that show. Making a living. Seven cheap looking blonde waitresses. I really hate that show. Those amazing people. A woman in Alaska buys a monster oyster. Now that's stupid. No, honey, that's stupid. On Two identical right? children, each a couple of years old. This one's soiled and worn. This one clean and new looking. What made the difference? Slip covers from Vine, Utah. Yes, you should buy one of those for your mother. She drools a lot. Oh, no, honey, that's not nice. The baby, then cover the furniture. You know, Diane one bought two of those for Tommy and Sammy to and they came right off. Furniture. But with Vine, Utah, you can cover this two-year-old. What, uh, what channel is the tomorrow night show on? Let's watch that. I don't know. Five. Yeah, it's on five. Here. Government experts say that by making her own Grecian formula, she can save as much as $500 a year. And finally, the Pentagon stunned the nation today when they unveiled their new uniforms in the war room. The Joint Chiefs announced that starting next week, officers will wear tuxedos and all enlisted men will wear evening gowns and elbow-length gloves. That's it for Tri-City News. Stay tuned for the Tomorrow Night Show with special guest host, Phil Touch. How can he be in two places at once? I don't know, the magic of television. This show, his own show, both at the same time. The guy's got a split personality. We're a great agent. And now, from the Tri Cities area, somewhere near Hollywood, taped yesterday, it's the Tomorrow Night Show with tonight's host, Bill Touch. Bill's guest tonight are mediocre songstress Jana Swain, country music star Roger Kenny, macho method actor Robert Flake, star running back O.J. Kenny, and the very old and very beautiful Rella Deese. And, of course, author, Dr. David Demerol. Okay, Bill! It's so predictable, even the curtain. I know, even a guest host, you can tell what he's gonna do. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Spence. Uncle Daddy Bob, you look exceptionally good tonight, considering we just got you out of the mission and straightened you up an hour ago. Hey, <laughs> hey what about the Tomorrow Night Show Orchestra? How about these guys? Hey! And of course, their wonderful leader, Spats Tuscanini. Hey! Boy, I'll tell you, I've seen people dress better as flood victims than Spats. <laughs> You know, somewhere, somewhere in the Tri-Cities, there's a 57 Chevy missing its seat covers. <laughs> oh, well, what an audience you people are really... I guess, you know, I guess it must be the weather. For those of you around the country uh, that don't know it, the Tri-Cities, we're in the middle of a uh, hot spell out here. Oh, it? uh, it's, it's so hot that burglars are now only breaking into apartments that have air conditioning. <laughs> I wish a burglar would break into this monologue here. He does these bad jokes on purpose, you know? I know. <laughs> but anyway, speaking of crime, I don't know how many of you have been reading in the paper about how fast crime is spreading around the country. You know, the quality of life is really deteriorating here in the Tri-Cities, anyway. How fast is it deteriorating? Well, pretty fast. In fact, I'm not sure which is worse anymore, the crime or the air pollution. <laughs> In fact, the other day, the other day, I saw a red-crested warbler wearing a tiny little gas mask. Oh. Wait a minute, that's not all. He's wearing the gas mask as a disguise so he could rob a bank. <laughs> Bird jokes are never funny. Never. Never uh, funny. Now, if, you, if you think that's depressing, the other day, the blue bird of happiness uh, left a suicide note. Oh. <laughs> hey, we got a great show tonight, a lot of fun guests. Stick around. We'll be back in a couple minutes. I guarantee you won't sink, okay? Oh, hi, Uncle Daddy Bob for Tortoise Wax. You know, I've been telling you about Tortoise Wax for a good many weeks now. Tonight, I'd like to demonstrate that it really works. Watch this. You know, honey, singing in the rain's on Channel 29. Year, we'll be back with Gene Kelly and Gene Hagen and Singing in the Rain in just a couple of minutes. But first, we'd like to talk to you about uh, something that's taking place in our studios. Obviously, our PSB annual telethon. Uh, the phones are not ringing. That's right, they're not ringing. Uh, 
Well, I'm here in the studio with Dave Zerwicki, our station manager, Dave. Thank you, Barbara. Barbara Podhauser, our promotions director here at Channel 29. And, of course, Barbara's so right, those phones aren't ringing. And we want you to call 629-3468. And, uh, that number again is 634-3893. That's right. And if you call, you'll get the kind of program, and you'll help us produce the kind of program you can only see here on public Absolutely. service broadcasting. What are some of those programs, Oh, Barbara? we have a wonderful children's show, uh, Mr. Roger's Neighborhood, a romp through the wonderful world of synonyms, $10,000. That's right. And what about that Masterworks Theater, that great series featuring this season, The Six Wives of Mickey Rooney, another classic. Wonderful, $15, wonderful $15,000, to give you an true. idea. That's uh, true. If you send in a uh, contribution of twenty. Uh, you'll receive an iWatch PSB I'm Better Than You Are t-shirt. And for a $50 premium, you can get the immortal Helen Trouble in a five-record set, Whistling Bar Talk, which is a fabulous, fabulous really gift. Is. It really is. But to get those, you need to call. That's 526-8939. That's right. Here. That number again is 873. Not one red cent for me. A breakthrough in pain relief. How do you feel, Mrs. Waldridge? I am in pain. Uh -huh. I have what feels like a bombed wire pineapple crammed under my frontal lobe. I see. Everything is going black. Wow. They are twinkling stars. Mm -hmm. I cannot breathe. I'll bet you really hurt. You want pain? <laughs> 40 of penetrating look oh. at the mail the other news magazines won't read on the air. <sighs> Dear 6040, you guys got a bunch of laundry down here. I've tried to call you, but you are always on assignment. I'm going to sell this stuff if you just don't pick it up. Dear 6040, you may already you know, be a I have never liked this show. I mean, they actually made You're Albert Schweitzer look bad. Uh -huh. Hey! Thank you, Spats. Thank you. We're back. Bob, you look exceptionally well tonight. Exceptionally well, thank well. you. I feel well. Feel yeah. good. Hitting the old sauce again? Uh, <laughs> no, actually. <laughs> Bending the old elbow? Yeah, listen, Bill. <laughs> Bill, you know I'm on the wagon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the old beer wagon. <laughs> Would you call it? This is national television. I don't appreciate this. I'm trying to dry out, okay? Yeah. Okay, all right, look. You know, it is terrible the way they treat that man. It is. What's yeah. wrong with a little beer well, or leave something down there? alone. On the desk here. And this glass, on, I pour pal. you, oh wait, I pour you a drink. Come <laughs> here. Come on. <laughs> You're going to tell me you won't touch that, right? <laughs> I won't touch it with a 10-foot pole, Bill. Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just leave old Bob sit there and see how much willpower he has. Ah, oh, what a okay. kidder, what a kidder. While we do that, <laughs> while we do that, let's bring out our first guest tonight, who is probably the hottest-selling girl singer in the country today. She also has just completed a made-for-TV movie called The Decision. I'm talking about Janice Swain, and many of you probably have her record album in your collection. <laughs> I don't. The band got it, I guess. <laughs> anyway, anyway, let's welcome uh -oh. a, lady, a lady I consider probably the best singer around today and also the finest human being I know. Here is Ms. Janice Swain. <laughs> 